Welcome back to part 6 of my Uruka of Zamora game. Currently on our second character here, King Fernando II. He is 31, and we're working on raising our kids. The Holy Father has called for a crusade in Jerusalem. And like good pious Catholics, we are going to go and fight. Got a decent little army. Uh, we're going to see how it goes. I think I'm going to lead the troops myself. Try to pick up that. Ooh, this guy's a really good leader, though. Um, try to go and pick up that uh, Crusader trait. Uh, we have our brother set to inherit uh, whatever kind of land we earn. Uh, although it's far from a... Uh, it's far from a guarantee that this actually goes our way. It looks like it's a pretty even war, and they tend to do a lot better. They tend to stack up, and the Catholics tend to, like, not not do too terribly well. I'm going to take that for the stress loss. Uh, if we do end up dying, <clears throat> pardon me, in this crusade, then our land is going to be split up. Um, it's going to be really annoying, but honestly, just for the sake of having something to do, I, I wouldn't mind it. Uh, we would be able to declare war against our brothers and try to like reunite our lands yet again, just like we had to do in the first part. I don't think it would be too terribly difficult. That's why I'm okay if my character uh, dies here, which there's a chance. We have really high prowess. Uh, not brave, at least, so we'll see what we can make happen. Give this to someone Catholic who's not going to try to murder my father. Um, you know what? Go in the dungeon. Oh, a hundred gold though. Yeah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> hard, hard to say no to that. Yeah, okay, let's get over here. Let's see what's what. So there's Architect. Um... There is some argument to be made for staying in here and maybe getting a little bit more. I don't think we're ever going to have problems holding on to our land, and generally I go down Administrator if that's the case. If I'm just taking over on a new character and I need my vassals to like me. There's some decent ones to get here. I think I'd rather just switch though. Uh, I do plan on spending some time in Diplomacy eventually, getting all these kids of mine groomed to rule. And maybe go down and get like embassies or just defensive negotiations or something. I'll probably come into learning first though. We already have a good amount of progress here. Probably just pick up pedagogy. Uh, maybe upgrade my heir a little bit before he becomes uh, of age. Get know thyself. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I don't think I need the health. I don't think I need the piety. So I just go scholarship by default usually. He is finally our accolade, acclaimed knight, I should say. Uh, the backup is this guy. He's actually pretty good. Where are your troops? Okay, there's like the bulk of the army, it looks like. Uh, I'm not going to land. I'm just going to hang out here. <clears throat> I assume they're going to be all stacked, just like waiting for us right here. That's not too many. Uh, we're going to wait for the Holy Father's lead on this one. Good. Okay. <laughs> dead is dead. Uh, we already found a new one, though. What are you complaining for? Uh, where are the troops? Okay, they're just taking a while to get over here. Another kid with our wife. She's 43. She's not done yet. Uh, okay, so all those guys... Looks like they're attacking me, but we're just going to be on boats next to each other, staring at each other. 
I think that they're heading over there. Oh, that was really weird behavior. Uh, I'm not sure why the AI does this. So they're sieging land that's a part of our war target, or our war target's land, I should say, but not in the war target. Um, I think they're just going to do the same thing again. If they wander over there, I, I might just come and siege over here. Uh, we're going to start starving soon. It's really quite annoying. I could just go and like try to get his capital, but then I'm pretty sure they would just wander over to me and, and kill me. Uh, okay, they're actually coming. I don't think this is going to work out very well, whatever it is they're planning on doing, but I will land with them. Gil, this is what you name your kid? Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess we'll just see how this goes. 95 gold? 82%. Okay, come on. Insulted. Whatever, dude. Uh, we got a decent amount of siege weapons here, at least. I'm not sure where they went. So we've gotten Crusader, although that can go away if you leave too early. It's definitely happened to me before. I have no idea where their troops went. I kind of want to go and siege Jerusalem. The glory will be mine. Okay, so our third son, fickle, arrogant, generous. Yeah, we just keep him generous. That's pretty easy. Uh, we'll start uh, raising this kid as soon as our first son. Okay, so he got stubborn. We didn't get a pick, but he got a really good one. Definitely happy with that. Really good traits. Um, two, two strong inheritable traits. I'm going to get him married as soon as he's 16 and try to... Uh, See if I can't get him a wife who has uh, Herculean, or Amazonian, I guess, for women it's called. Uh, and then they could potentially have a son that has all three traits, one of them the strongest. Uh, and then we might be able to, if we get lucky, take the strength and bloodline decision. Because you need one from each of those trees, and one of them has to be the strongest. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is terrifying. So I guess what they went and did was just siege that back and then brought their army back over here. Uh, they might actually be kind of like starving at this point. Yeah, they are. They're not doing too well. Well supplied. It's going down. Okay. I think that we'll get this, but we'll probably get engaged on after. We'll see. Okay, so they're actually not even coming for us. Not sure what that is about. I think I'm just going to go right here. I wouldn't mind engaging a little bit of their army, but they will all pile into any war any fight that we start, that's for sure. Okay, so do we go and help this? Um, I'm going to say no. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit scary. We got 3k left, and there's like 30k here. And where are these guys going? This is always like such a disaster. Uh, I think we might... Okay, they didn't They didn't come for us. They definitely could have. The thing is, it might be too early to leave completely. I am going to go here. I think I can just heal up there, right? We'll see. I don't want to, like, disband my army. That might get us in trouble <laughs> and lose our trade. Uh, we'll see. What did you just call my cousin, you bed swerver? It's my ex-wife more than it is my cousin. Whatever. Um, yeah, I'll put these guys both into learning. We're going to try to have everyone take the vows pretty much and play through our first son. So they're just going to unsiege that stuff that we sieged. Uh, I, 
I can't see this war succeeding, honestly. Uh, so we're just here chilling, get our supplies back up a little bit. 40? 60, okay. Um, maybe they can find some way to uh, win a battle, I don't know. Okay, so we're up to 80, hit 100, then come back over. The Pope died, that's interesting. Okay, so me and you, kid. Uh, and then we'll let our bishop take this guy for now. So he ends up getting lazy and ambitious, but we've already had him take the vows, so we really don't care. Three-star education, diplomacy, pretty good. There is a Princess of France available. It's actually interesting. Not a bad alliance at all. Uh, but I kind of want to do the strength and bloodline thing. Uh, I guess we sort by prowess. Okay, so we do have options. Uh, Amazonian. She's chaste, though. She's a little bit older. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go for it. Maybe we can get lucky and have a kid that has all three. We basically need Amazonian slash Herculean to pass on, and then one of these two, or both of them, to stay the same or to like get the weaker version. But we need one of them to be the third tier. That's a long shot, but if it happens, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Dishonorable coward. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes for them. Uh, definitely not going to have my son come out here and get the Crusader trait. He's brave and very likely to die if he tries. It's tempting, though. Uh, this guy would become my heir if he did die. I think I would more likely rather play this guy if something went wrong. Not nearly as good, though. Yeah, no, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so it looks like this is just a disaster. We're basically just hanging around uh, until this war actually ends. They've stacked up their armies, and we have... Not. Craven, shy, and paranoid. Uh, do I really take a stress hit just to make him shy? No, I think Craven's fine. I think he's still pretty likely to take the vows as Craven. I don't think that really matters. Do I even land here? Like, it just feels risky. They're just gonna waddle up here and attack. Why do they stack so well on defense and so horribly on offense? I just, I really don't understand. It's it's kind of enraging, honestly. Um, these are all good options. I think I'll just take open-minded for now. Yeah, I'm just going to land here and then probably um, leave as soon as I'm a little bit worried that they're going to head down here. I'm assuming that I'm leading in war score significantly because I've been sieging stuff non-stop. disaster. Uh, I was going to sway this guy, I think, but I forgot about it. So let's get started on that now. I don't think he's ever really going to become a vassal. Low. Still minus 51. He got ambitious as his third trait. That's kind of annoying. Uh, maybe he can have a kid. And then we can, like, he'll pass away from being frail. And then the kid will be more likely to become a vassal. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm just going to hang out here until it, it dies. The war ends, I should say. That's what I meant. I guess I'll ransom this child. We made a pretty good push, but the war is just too lopsided. Here comes the second round of troops. 
Um, do we have enough? No way. And again, they're not even like stacking up properly, <laughs> like someone's sieging things and all this BS. Uh, 98, okay, there we go. We're done. It was a valiant effort. St. George has abandoned us, though. Go figure. Uh, we got our next level of faith. And we're pretty close to the next level of prestige now, too. Still only 35. Uh, we, we do get to keep our Crusader trade. There's no shame in failure when it comes to this. Uh, but yeah, extra martial, extra prowess. Uh, same faith. Everyone likes us more. The clergy likes us a lot more. So that's a good thing. Uh, it will impact his ability, or like his likelihood to become our vassal. Uh, he's actually at war. He's going to win that. Yeah, maybe we can make something happen here. I do want to take this back eventually. So I don't have a claim on that. I have a claim here, though. I guess I could just get a claim on it. It'll take a while. Five years, but then I can revoke it. Um, it's from my home duchy, that's why I kind of want to do that. Gray Eminence, okay. <laughs> so he ends up being a, a decent character, other than lazy. He's a pretty good chancellor if we need him. I guess this guy's going to die soon. We don't really have a good vassal to take the job. Uh, yeah, I'll just give him the job, I think. Um, okay. So... I think I'm just going to have him take the vows as well. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, is it? Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Get him back in here. I'm not sure why they leave the court when that happens. It doesn't seem necessary. Uh, we'll, we'll switch and start raising our next son uh, and then let the archbishop finish off him uh, we did end up having another kid though so we still have three more to deal with again uh, but at least we're making some progress here how's he doing no pregnancy so far. Uh, I could give them land to make them more likely to have kids, but we'd have less control over them. I kind of like keeping my heir and his spouse in my court when possible. Uh, I should really be upgrading this stuff too. I guess I can't do these yet. How close are we? We haven't been researching for too long. Yeah, still nine years away. Okay, um, I think I'm going to replace this though. With what? Ooh, this is not what we wanted. I thought this was a better home duchy. Uh, but yeah, we got enough gold here. This one we can't do for quite a while. Daughter. Okay, so we'll have our wife do this, right? Wherever she is. There we go. Um, yeah, she ended up getting temperate, which is really strong now that we've gotten that uh, monastic communities. Um, we can get some type of alliance with her. We'll see who's available. Duke of Transylvania. It's a little bit far. Uh, our pod dynasty is decent. Uh, this one is actually in Iberia. 
He's 48, though, and he already has, like, 100 kids. Mallorca. Cordoba. 67. How on earth do you not have any children? Uh, the Duke of Barcelona. That's a thing. Does it make him more likely to join if he's allied to us? I want to say yes. You know what? Let's try it out. I'm not going to declare war on him either way, so... I think I'll just leave it. Uh, how are we doing here? Okay, that's pretty good. Can I just... I don't really want to pay you that much, though. Impatient, shy, and gluttonous. Well, we're putting him into learning, so I'll just give him shy. I'm pretty sure he'll take the vows, no problem. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> Her again. Her again. Okay, no, no, let's just say no there. Okay, so Provence did end up joining France. Uh, now the French king died. Looks like he had a son, his eldest son died, murdered, assassinated by Pierre the Insane. Okay. And then he died childless, so his second son just inherited everything, and now there is a massive war against him. And he's going to get deposed for this guy. So this guy's going to become king, eventually, probably. We could marry him to our daughter. Uh, this is our second daughter, right? I think this will work. Uh, whatever, if it doesn't. You know, still a 2000 alliance. Yeah, this should be fine. We'll, we'll buy low <laughs> while, while he's still just a duke, and then he'll become king. Uh, should be fine. So let's just see what happens when this sway goes off. Okay, it failed, obviously. Screw you. I'm not sure if this will quite get us there. Minus four. Okay, so good to know that allies does actually increase it here. Difference in military power. So we could get that up and get him to get him to do it that way. Or the cultural acceptance. Do I not speak his language? No, I don't. Okay, that should that should do it then. Let's just do that. Just kind of sent him a, a stack of cash for no reason now, though. Whatever. Uh, hoping for a kid here, but nothing so far. My stewards just keep dying over and over. Got another duke to put in here. He might die. Uh, anyways, I am going to continue this on in the next part. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.